that's like completely off um that's what i was thinking <laughs> that is weird oh my god and it's roaming going right back the way we just came from uh, hopefully it's not like a really old track i think it is you know i think i'm just gonna have to uh take a little note from doc yeah we're just gonna have to do some fast traveling let's just I hate to do it <laughs> let's let's just do that then <laughs> Sometimes, I want to shoot some bears. Sometimes it's not really possible to avoid that. So um, we're going to go down here, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. <coughs> three, Wee. three camping supplies. Now here we go. All right. So let's check out the next barrel. Oh, there's a deer in the water. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, what a door. Uh, it's That's a little tiny buck. Very tiny one, yeah. yeah. We'll just leave him. Yeah. So we are kind of more in the south right now. Yeah, we just moved really far, actually. I mean, if you look on the map, I mean, we just we <laughs> went really far. Yeah. And um, I actually thought that here in the south there is not so much bears hanging out. So what's your experience with that barrel that we are oh approaching? Oh my goodness. Um, lots of bear. <laughs> okay. See? Lots and lots of bear. Um, the reason I put a barrel here <coughs> excuse me, is I was uh, doing missions. And one of the missions was to shoot a black bear on this mysterious island, and it gave the coordinates. So I went in the map, and I looked at the coordinates with my mouse cursor, and I was like, oh, that's by the sunken ship. Mm. So I went over there, I went bear hunting, and there was like, you know, I saw like five bear, and I didn't even have bait or anything. So I was like, I'm putting a barrel here. Okay. I put a barrel there. I came the next day, you know, I went to work, you know, logged in when I came home from work. And my uh, barrel was on 42% attractiveness in Whoa. 24 hours. So I was like, okay, this is a good spot. <laughs> Definitely. So I've just always put a barrel here. Always. And I, I, I always keep this one full. And if I ever want to go bear hunting usually and like make a YouTube video of where I know I'm going to get a bear, it's pretty much like 100% guaranteed to get one here. It but sounds pretty really good. Right. But normally I do hunt it at 5 a.m. or really late in the afternoon like we were talking before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see how this time goes because, to be honest, I really never hunt. Oh, look at there's, there's moose over there. Yeah, I just saw it too. Deer over there. There's like, yeah, there's a white tail and a moose. That moose is a kind of average sized one. Yeah, we and that's could, a dough too. We could call it in and stick it, nevertheless, if you want. Um, we could just keep making our way over to the barrel, and then uh, once we got onto that island, we could call them there, like right on this little, this little bottleneck down here. Yeah, let's do that then. That's what I do too. It's that's like a choke point, so they have to like either go through it and walk right past you, or to turn around and go back into the island where you're going. Yeah. You know, it's so like a big trap. <laughs> it's good strategy there. Yeah. And as soon as we're at the at your barrel there, I'm also going to open the map again so Okay. People watching can, you know, check out the coordinates. Cuz um that's what happened when I was hunting with um Hawkman there. And he has a like wonderful setup, and he found like a super nice spot for uh, brown bear hunting on Hemeldal. I don't know if you saw that um, episode. That's that's the one with the uh, the little hill, right, with yeah. the tree stand on it. Yes, yes, that is amazing. So that I is genius spot to put <laughs> a tree stand in a bait barrel. Like, yeah, and I got so many like messages requesting where the coordinates of that is right 
so um, I thought this time I'm gonna make sure it's visible on the on the recording oh I just chased the door oh yeah there well, there seems to be some animals around at least mm-hmm I haven't seen any b bear tracks on the way in. Now oh, there's that ship. It's yep. actually an awesome sight. Mm hmm. And that moose still <laughs> where it was when we saw it first. We should probably just walk right up to him <laughs> and shoot him. And that white-tailed doe is right in in the water, right in front of him. Now this is gonna be awesome to watch. Maybe they were making moose deer. <laughs> It's going to be awesome to watch when you take the shot. It's lo it looks really nice when a moose like walks in the shallow water. It looks so natural. Mm-hmm. I like it that they show like little ripples where their legs are and everything yeah. too and all that. You know, it's really detailed. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Just calling towards you. Or <laughs> it's, gonna come, it's gonna come take a bite out of you. I think you have to call again because he's like not reacting to it anymore. Where is he going? Moose have a very short reaction time or like attracting time on calls. They have a really short attention span, huh? Yeah. That like was, ADD. That was the word I was <laughs> looking for. <laughs> They need to take some riddle in. <laughs> <laughs> They're always the troublemakers at school. Where? Oh, yeah, they are, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, buddy. And moose do also directly answer to calls. I can't see him now. I think I'm gonna move. Oh, I got a collectible right here. Really? Yep. Oh, there's eighty-eight point nine four ounces of mushroom. Oh my God. There he is, right That's in front. That's a lot of shroom. Oh. Ah. Oh. He saw me when I picked up my mushroom. I just had to pick up the mushroom. <laughs> well. Oh wow. Well. That was the lucky moose. Very lucky moose. Yeah, I, I had no idea that they have a shorter uh, span. I thought all animals were kind of just rendered the same, but you know, I guess that would make sense, you know. Yes, for moose, it's um, significantly shorter than the other animals. And there's That's a buck right where the doe is. Really? Yeah. A nice one, or? Mm, not really. Right, yeah, he's pretty small. It's like 90 to 117, but I doubt it's gonna score higher than 120. Yeah, he's pretty so small. Just leave him be. He's <laughs> drowning himself right now on my screen. I don't know about yours. Yeah, I saw the same. <laughs> he's gone. It's all the way underwater. I just couldn't take it that we were like not interested in his uh, set of antlers. 
He's like, come on, guys, this is all I can grow. <laughs> you don't want to shoot me? Fine. I go, I go into the water. <laughs> yep, I'm ending it all. When's the last time we did Scent Eliminator? Well, I did it right when I, when we picked up that first elk, I think, already. Oh, wow, I'm way off. Right, I should have told you, because I remember we put it on at the same time. Right, and I, I must have missed it on my screen when it said so it wore off. I'm going to put on some more right now, so we are roughly about the same time again. Okay. Just spilling some more, just for the sake of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all worth it. Oh yes. I love this game so much. I mean, I used to be a hardcore Battlefield 3, you know, Call of Duty player, and for a game to get me to totally stop playing a game like that that I've been playing since like 2002, since the day it came out, or 2003, Call of Duty 1 first came out. Mm -hmm. I mean, for them to be able to pull me and break that chain of me playing those games for so many years, I mean, that that's, that's an something. accomplishment. Yeah. yeah, for just, I mean, granted, you know, to m nobody else it doesn't really mean anything, but to me that's like, you know, that's how much I really like this game. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> it can pulled, understand you know, that. It pulled good. me away from Call of Duty. I'm sure a lot of gamers could understand that. Like, what? Is it a better <laughs> game than Call of Duty? Like, <laughs> I must play it. I actually never really started to play games like Call of Duty. I mean, I here and there played a little Counter Strike and stuff like that. Oh, I love Counter Strike. That's a game I still and it's, like. It's great fun, but you know, it's also fast paced and. Mm hmm. And I used to play the competitive end of it, and it was just it became like work to mm -hmm. have to play the game. You know, you gotta you gotta be on your computer at this time. You know and practice with your with your teammates and run strategies and you know it just became like not fun anymore so yeah that's yeah that's like um i used to do sim racing okay and um we had a like a team and real sponsors and stuff like that and that also was kind of like eating up too much time because right. um, you had to practice a lot. I had to practice a whole year driving s uh, before I could like keep in touch with um, the other drivers in the league. So, and that's like really simulating. So, right, it's kind of hard. And um, yeah, I mean, for this game, of course, there's also there's a black bear there. Oh, nice. To the right, we'll get into our stands here. Sneak in there. Oh, there's another one. Do you think we can make it to the ground blind? Yeah, I think we can. I got one here right in front of me, and I got one off to my right. Yeah, the one at the right, I just saw. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we can get to the blind here. We got time. You see the one out in front of us here, just to the left of the barrel? They're both common black bears, though. Nothing. No special colors or nothing. Okay. Well. Yeah, I see it. And I, I haven't looked at him close enough to see male or female, so. Um, it's a male, the one to the left. All right. The one to the right actually looks bigger though, but that could also just be. Okay, very good. Now, what's the, the strategy? Man, it looks like you need to shave a little bit or something. <laughs> you got some stubble going on there, buddy. <laughs> wow. No, player, the, you know the character models do look really good, though. Yeah. Like, seriously, they do. I mean... There could be um, a little bit they more look really good. To, to choose from, but I think that's going to that's gonna come and be added. Yeah, all in good time, right? <coughs> so, actually, the one in front should be quite close already. He, he should be... Yeah, he's just behind that brush. 
coming out there in, into the okay, open. Okay, yeah, I see him. So he, it says 110 to 220 kilos. And um, we could actually try a double shot if you wish, if you want. Let me see what I got for a guess here. Score guess, 14 to 20 for a guess for a score. Okay. Um, uh, where's the other one, Proxy? To the left, right at the barrel. Uh, the other one is behind us somewhere. We still think if we are able to get that one down with two arrows, the other one won't spook. And we should do should it Should we now. try it? Yeah. Let's do it. You gonna count down? I will. Go ahead. Three, two, oh no, he's right behind that thing. Hold on. Okay, now. Three, two, one, shot. We both missed. <laughs> but That's terrible. Or did it pass through? I think it passed through, actually. You know, I think you're right. Let's, um... Did this one run behind us here? No, just... Either way, we're on an island. They will always come back. That's what I've learned about hunting yeah. here. So it don't matter. S especially with bow hunting. Mm-hmm. But look at this. Our arrows are very short next to each other, and I think it just passed right. through. I, you know, I think it did, unless I, I don't, so far it was either that, or I know that I shot bug. right after you, I don't know, if maybe if it, it did drop down a little tiny bit that I missed, hmm. but we yours should have been right on, I mean, when it moved, all of a sudden I seen your arrow on the ground, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, we can just investigate from the footage. Right. But either way, that was. I don't think the other one spooked neither. I don't know. I, either way, they'll come back. Yeah, especially when taking bow shots, they calm down quite, quite fast. I think it's 20, 25 game minutes. I was told mm -hmm. by somebody. Uh, Bear Master, NA Outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break quick, Pratsy. Okay. I need to uh, use the restroom, and uh, I still haven't gotten my cup of coffee yet. <laughs> okay. So, we'll be right back then. All right, guys. And here we are back again and we have a bear coming in as you can see we switch the positions um, out of the ground blind into the two st tree stands that shoddy set up here and there's a bear coming you can see it um, I have a mark on him here I don't know if you okay. can see him Pratsy. I can see him it's 112 meters he's uh, weight 90 yeah. to 200 score 16 to 21 and he's coming from the other way. Yeah, from right, from right behind the ground blind, kind of. Right. Oh, here's the other one, Pratsy, that we shot at. Coming down the hill here. 66 meters. Right here. Okay, let me check. Yeah, weight 110 to 220, score 14 to 20. This is the one that we just shot at before, and we had our arrows pass through it. Yeah, I just checked it on the footage, and it went straight through. And that white tail keeps calling, but we just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's like with the elk. That elk you shot was beautiful. That <laughs> that thing was huge. Yeah, it's been a long time since I shot a elk that big. Um, can't see that second bear because there's a lot of trees in front of me. Is that your biggest elk for this new season? Yeah, definitely. By far. I think the one I shot is my biggest for the new season. And I shot that huge mule deer last night. That is Oh yeah. <laughs> I saw the picture of that one. 247 it was. Right. 242. 
42, okay. Yeah, it was uh, number three on the leaderboards right now, I think. Three or nice. four. Nice. Nice. So, my, that's my, my uh, uh, two minutes of fame there. Yeah. I shot, today I shot a 46 Coyote. I don't know how much worth that is. I think uh, it's... it's 46 pound male coyote? Yeah. That's a nice one. I've shot one that was 54 and I still didn't get on the leaderboards. Yeah. But I don't, I don't hunt a lot of coyote. Um, uh, that's something I really know nothing about. Like my tracking and spotting and everything for coyote is like on one. Okay. That's an animal I've... Yeah, it's, they, they are very elusive. Yeah, same with the turkey. I'm not really skilled in turkey hunting. <laughs> But when I see him, if I get a chance, I shoot him with the shotgun. That bear from behind the tree stand is now 50 meters from where I am, so I have to be careful here. And I don't know if you can see the other one. Yeah, the other one's coming down the hill here. Oh yeah, now I see it. That is closer than, than the other one. So, I think it would be cool to watch you taking a shot at one of those and um, I don't know if oh you're standing you should probably sit down oh yeah oops I meant to have my uh <laughs> I always do that hit the wrong buttons he is just walking straight towards me again he's like come on try to stick another arrow in me <laughs> Is the distance okay for you? Uh, he's at 28 for me. He's right there. Okay, so just could just go ahead and take the shot then. Hopefully my arrow sticks in him this time. Okay, uh, your other bear, hopefully I don't spook him here. Next time he stops, Pratsy, I'm going to shoot. Okay. That other bear is actually also in range, so we could time it and get a shot at each... Should okay. we do that? Yeah. You, yeah, you just, oh, there he is. You okay. just count. Whenever you're ready. You 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 got open shots on yours right uh, now? He's right now behind the tree. Now I have. Okay, now. Yeah, mine's behind the barrel, kind of. Okay. I'll count down. Hold on. Ready? Mm hmm. Three, two, one. My arrow. My arrow passed right through my bear, man. Mine is sticking in the bear. Yep, you got yours real good. I'm just you know taking that bear that I. I just. Took the other one with a shot. Did you? Okay, did it? I I wonder if you got a good mark on it, like a like a hit. Yeah, he's going down. With the rifle. Okay, good. Yeah, my arrow went right through it. I mean, so huh. it seems like because that's the same one that did it before. So it's like the arrows wouldn't work on him, but the bullets would. It's kind of strange. It's hit and miss. Um, my bear is walking there with the with the arrow in it. So I I'm I'm also gonna have a follow up shot on him because I don't know how good that shot was. Go ahead. Oh, I should reload first. Why is my rifle not reloading? I could shoot him too. Yeah, do it. Uh oh. Now he's behind the tree. Oh, I got it. Went through. Something is wrong. Uh, also, my ammo went. Looks like we have the same bugs all over again. Ammo and um uh. <laughs> Right? It's frustrating. Um let's let's see what we got here. Let, the one that you shot, the one that my arrow passed through the first time. Um, yeah, that one you is said that one went down, right? Yeah, I marked it on the map where he went down. Okay, let's go take a look at this one over here by the water. <coughs> And see if we can't chase him down and shoot him with all kinds of ammo. And yeah. See what kills him. <laughs> I got a, a body shot on him with the arrow. So 
Right. I know my rifle bullet. I mean, I had it steadied right on him, and I saw that. I pulled the trigger. It just I just stood there for a minute, and then it ran. So I know it didn't hit it. Yeah. But um, it should have. It should have because I saw the bullet hit the ground straight behind him from your point of view. So it can't be nothing but a miss through, uh, like a, a shot through it. So that's weird. It's like one bear. The rifle was able to kill it, and the other one, the arrows, were able to hit it. Yeah, and my ammo that I used from the last session did not replenish as well. Right. See, that's what I was telling you when I first loaded in. I said I had some missing pistol ammo, mm -hmm. and uh, I shot one bullet, and one of my packages only had nine in it. When you know, when you're a uh, when you're a paid member, it just replenishes after every hunt. Yeah. You know, you get your 30 rounds, and that's it. You probably should crouch. Oh, yeah, good point. Because <laughs> I don't know if he's going to go down from that body shot that I had on him with my first arrow. Man, that's that's quite frustrating, actually. Um, I did bring a, another box of bullets, but um, I was thinking that it is a fresh, you know, fresh 10 out box. Right. I. You see think something? I s no, I think it's a rock in the water. Yeah, I don't see anything. Hmm. hmm. The invincible bear. This is not good. I mean, we just updated our games and it's supposed to be fixed. And clearly, we can see that uh, there's still uh, some issues. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I know they will fix it, but it's just... I'm sure it's not a, a easy fix either. I no. mean, I'm sure there's lots of coding and all kinds of crazy things that I can't even begin to imagine that they have to do to fix it. That is actually true, yes. So, can't really be too frustrated, I guess, but at the same time, it's frustrating. I just picked up a, uh, another t track, and we should be very close to it again because the solid circle is like the smallest you can get oh really and yeah right towards the direction you are going right now okay yeah this whole hillside is shadowed so good it's really hard for me to see I mean I'm blackberries they blend in so good oh yeah Yeah, that's... Oh, here's the next track. Oh, there he is. He's running. Oh. Just try to get a shot. Went through again? Uh, I don't know. I can't... As soon as I shot, it's like he ran into a little dip or something. Oh, there he is. He's down. I guess he's down. <laughs> I see him. I see the tracer blinking. I think it's safe yeah. to uh, yeah, walk. Yeah, he's. I think he's down. Can't I mean, I only. Him. I was aiming in between two trees, and he crossed my line of sight, and I just shot real quick. So, and he just totally disappeared. I just want to see uh, your shot registered now. 
that's all I want to see now. <laughs> right. And I was aiming right behind his front shoulder, or right on it, right in the shoulder blade, or just behind it. It yeah. should have been. And the first shot, when he was standing by the water, when you said you could see the bullet hit the ground, yeah. I was aiming right on his tail. So it should have went like right up his butt, like right into his heart, but it didn't. Because I don't know. I don't so you found noticed. so you if found you sh out that that little um, s secret kind of thing too to shoot him in the butt to get a hard shot. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm a hunter. That's I call that the Texas hard shot, man. You know, I mean, it's just when you're real life hunting, you don't ever want to really do that because that's where all your meat is, is in yeah. the butt cheeks. So, you know. Hey, you got a lung shot, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I hit it right behind the shoulder, like I said. I mean, right. Look at that. It's perfect. I can't see the bullet hole. I can see it on my screen though, but there's not one straight behind him, right in his tail here, where it should be. Oh well. Oh, on this side there is a bullet hole, but that was where my tracer hit. Yeah, I can see your arrow. You don't see your arrow? I see it, but it's like glitched. Okay. It's like blinking two of them right behind <laughs> him. But that's, that's strange. That's not some game breaking thing. So yeah. Um uh, let let me confirm it and see uh oh you already Oh yeah, let me take Yeah, I, I got him in the left front leg and you got him in the shoulder blade and left lung. Ah, nice. But my first shot didn't even touch him at all, no. which is strange. Yeah, it is. And then you have a no, down bear on the map. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh well. I was paying attention. Look up again. That really looked like you had your eyes closed in that pig. Uh, <laughs> now it's good. <laughs> like you were just blinking. As if the character was, the characters would be blinking, right? And you caught me like at the wrong moment. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just claim the the bear eye shot, and I think that should be uh, should be it for this um, recording, I guess. Yeah, it's it's pretty late in the morning. I mean, it's I mean, mine. yeah, we could walk around and shoot stuff, but I mean, it would just we could be on here all day, really. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I think uh, we could just run there. Sure. Do the uh, do the very naughty of the game. Well, the, to be the, honest, the never. To be honest, it is possible to hunt very successfully, even when running most of the time. You gotta do it smart. Yeah, and I and know what you're saying. And you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Patsy, look at, turn around. You s you want to pick this up? Oh, you there. See it? I just. I you heard. ran right over top of it, man. <laughs> it made the little do 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 sound when you ran over it, man. Yeah, that just you know. Look at that. It's thirty point three seven seven ounces or whatever it is. Ounces. Ounces. Yeah, you know. Um. I heard that sound, but I kept my eyes open for. Moose, <laughs> <Right>. a track. <laughs> you know. And you you know what you want to hear something really funny. When I first started playing this game, I uh, always seen mushrooms all the time, and I'd always be like, "Oh, cool!" And I'd take a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Never did I ever click on it and know that you could pick them up. <laughs> I I just thought it was like a tree in the map. I had no idea. I wouldn't even want to. I didn't even bother clicking on it, you know. <laughs> I just was like, "Oh, that's cool," but like seriously, I probably passed up dozens of mushrooms. Well, which is funny because I never knew that collectibles existed. <laughs> Have you heard anything about uh, deer antler shed collectibles? Um, they have been mentioning something in the forums. Uh, yeah, I seen something on Whiteout's front page where they like had supposedly uh, found some, but I think it's fake. I think it's photoshopped. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, which is funny. I mean, I do stuff like that, too. I mean, it's it's <laughs> fun to joke around. I mean, it's... 
it's just when you're not the one doing it and you think that man is that really real like you know it just leaves you wondering <laughs> oh there he is but yeah just by the way um i almost forgot it um talking about um well let me take a picture of you then no i'll i'll do you on there uh um running in this game you know as you said you gotta do it smart and then you can do it really successfully but um it also i mean it just doesn't fit my style of hunting at all i do not have fun playing it that way even though i could play it very successfully that way and shoot lots of animals because once you are familiar with the you know with the the way this game works and you know the spooking distances and um, you get a feeling for it it's mm -hmm. quite easy to do but it's it's not fun for me I, at I, all i've been on loggers point before sprinting just like on an on a auto sprint just sitting here kicking back and all of a sudden i've heard like you know you can hear yourself running mm -hmm. and i all of a sudden i've heard like an animal walking and i've hit my w key real quick stopped and then then like turned to my right and just seen an animal standing there mm -hmm. you know or just like stopped and taken a couple steps and then still seen the animal and it's usually when i'm coming up over a hill so i don't you know what i'm saying yeah like if i walk over this ridge and that whatever was on the other side of the hill just happened to not hear me because mm -hmm. of you know i don't know if that's really in the game or if it was a glitched animal that wasn't doing what it was supposed to with the AI intelligence, you know? Yeah. Or, I mean, I guess. There's a lot of things that could factor into it, but I've sprinted up on lots of animals before. And not just little does and stuff. I mean, I've sprinted up on... Well, that 242 mule deer I shot last night, I sprinted all the way up to, like, 100 meters of that thing. <laughs> yeah, you know? but, you know, so it's you see, it, it is possible. It just, to me, it wouldn't be fun that way. Right. But that's like hunting styles, you know? different people have different hunting styles and um so look at this, um, this little deer here wants to like close the video by being shot with the rifle okay let's give him the give him that that was probably the one that went down into the water before should we pistol him <laughs> oh yeah let's do that <laughs> <laughs> okay whenever you're ready uh, hold on, he's behind a tree. You got a good shot on him? Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So there you have it. <laughs> Seems to work again. With hitting. I used to actually have my bait barrel right here, right where this little spot of dirt is right here. I used to have my tree stand right here, actually on this island. Oh. I think that island is... I have almost forgot to show the map now. I'm gonna show it now. Oh, oh there you go. Whoa, I just got a black screen. Oh no, there we go. So uh, yeah, ch just check out what's here at my coordinates. Also, by looking at the map, it's quite easy to see where we are. Um, so yeah, let's claim that one. And um, yeah, it has your hit, a body hit, and my shot is not registered. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. So uh, yeah, well, that's about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it was fun hunting with you. Yeah. It was great. I can... Uh, that, that elk was great that you shot. Too bad we didn't get to shoot any... I was really hoping we'd get like a nice 21 or 22 inch bear. I really thought we would because both my barrels were nice high attractiveness and I thought for sure we'd be covered in bears, but I guess not. Okay, yeah, well, we, we, we still saw three, four of, of them bears. And right. um, yeah, I really enjoyed hunting with you and just let's uh let's do that again.
Yeah, let's try and line up that big uh, white heart thing sometime. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. <laughs> that would be cool. I think that would be really good fun. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Then, um, as always, thanks for watching and um, happy hunting to you from my side. Yeah, back at you, Pratsy. <laughs> You're welcome at my reserves anytime. There's always a stand and a barrel for you. Uh, same goes <laughs> to you. <laughs> See you. All right. Bye-bye.